Hi everyone, it's Alec again. I apologize again. Uh, anyways, here's another Revival Daily with me. Um, again, Alan's pretty busy. Or he's, I don't even know if he's here today. Which one's Alan again? Anyways, um, yeah, so eventually we're going to be other people hosting or whatever you want to call this, uh, talking about things, pointing things out, talking to people. But as of right now, <clears throat> I've, it's going to be me. So let me get some water. Jeez. All right. Oh, well, looks like I'm not getting ice. Guess I'll die then. Anyways, cool. This is our kitchen. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, but this is what keeps everybody fed and high. Well, it's Friday, so it's pretty much slim pickings, but um, every Monday we have a lot of groceries, pantry, so it's really, really easy to uh, eat constantly. So we just got to kind of be mindful of that. Especially, you know, in your older age. <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go talk to Doc. See what he's doing today. There he is. Man, I feel like you're always working on a bike. What's up, dude? Putting the Spreva back together. Cool. <clears throat> what happened? What's going on with it? Uh, the transmission basically has a transmission clutch, and it has these little wave washers that take up slack in it and it needed more of those basically it had like a weird rattle yeah. and that's what it was cool so this and you're obviously about to hopefully ride this thing soon yeah just put the transmission back in gotta put the rear end back on just assemble everything and then go ride it this one we did some custom work on we did actually a lot of custom work on and uh, we may have talked about this before, and I apologize because sometimes I repeat myself because I just don't remember. But this one came in, and when it, when it got here, it was a project from another shop that had started, and uh, I don't think he was satisfied, so it sat for a while, then he brought it here, and then we took over and did a lot, did a lot of stuff to it and finished it just in time for the hand-built show. Um, and when we went to go ride it for the first time, Doc noticed that there was a really really, really loud noise coming from the transmission slash rear end. And since we had never ridden it before, we didn't know. And so that's what the problem was. And now it's fixed and hopefully it'll go home soon. And the customer's really awesome and happy and we're really glad, really happy the way this bike turned out. Yay. Uh, anyways, that was what Doc was doing. Maybe we should go uh, talk to Andy. Let's go talk to Andy. Later, amigo. Peace out. And here we go, like clockwork. You're still not Alan. I see you, no, trying to hide. Wait. No, you don't. What are you doing? Wait, these aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> hey, did you know it was Rot Rally this weekend? <laughs> Man, I need a real big bike. You know any good Harley jokes? Man, I don't. I know a couple. Can you get? Can you tell us one? Uh, what's the difference between a Harley and a Hoover? The position of the dirt bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I, I got another one. You, you'll probably like this one since you own an old Harley. Uh-huh. Uh huh. What do old Harleys and old hound dogs have in common? <laughs> they both like to ride in the truck on the way home. <laughs> I can't believe I've never heard these. These are really good. Uh, That's for you, all you Harley owners. I mean, you know. I got one. So Rot Rally is you know, You know that, that pretty much works with Moto Guzzi too. Yeah, you can use, yeah, it's the Italian Harley, right? Jesus. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I was thinking about welding a couple of bikes together and riding out to the Rot Rally. Yeah, you should. Yeah, man. Find me a woman. If there's anybody out there that wants to go with me, let's do this. Oh my God, has it come to this? No. Hey, Ty. No way, man. Uh, anyways. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? Uh, good. I'm working Speaking on of, a fuel tank. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, speaking of this thing, tell us about what are you doing with this? Uh, uh, this well, so here? I'm actually in the middle of making parts for this. So I've got the bottom uh, minus a few parts, obviously petcock and fuel drain. And these are for all our, our uh, mounting bumpers. Awesome. Um, but uh, uh, we've got the side panels made for it. Um, and I'm working on making the top right now. So doing a little wheel work to shape this curve into the back. Um, this is for our 
Airhead Racer project. Yes, sir. So vintage racer. I know you've been building the motor. I have, and um, I've finished. For that, yeah. Um, the bike's over here. Yeah, let's look at the Take bike. Look I don't know it. if these people have actually seen it being worked on. It's always been kind of hiding. Hiding in the back. away. It's been kind of, it's been kind of chilling because I was building the uh, engine for this thing. Yeah, and Ty and I were busy on other stuff. Yeah, and now we were trying to figure out. It's like a whole stack, a whole stack thing. You can't figure out one thing until you get one thing done, and then you can't get that thing done until you do the other thing. So we were also waiting oh. on rear sets. Yeah, those came in the other day. Yeah. So. Uh, waiting on rear sets and clip-ons, uh, a different front hub, carrier yep. parts. So we have all that stuff, so we're, so we're back on it now. Um, it's actually a pretty cool project, I think. Uh, I'm really excited about it. A bunch <clears throat> of vintage parts um, that are going to stay looking old, so it's a bit of a restoration and a bit of a preservation at the same time. Yeah. Which always makes me happy. I, I would rather do preservations uh, all day long. I love them. Yeah, that's my favorite than, thing to do. Rather than a nuts and bolts restoration. I love them too. And this should, thing should probably explain the difference between. The so two a, and yeah, well, <laughs> a restoration is, as you know, basically would be you be getting a bike in, in whatever condition it is. Typically, an old bike. Otherwise, there wouldn't be no need to restore it. But I guess. You could restore. Yeah, you can restore something, restore from the something 80s. new. I guess so. If, if you're in the nineties. Yeah, and so basically you take everything apart and restore it to the original condition. Very nice, very pretty, or close to it. Or oftentimes, sometimes better. Some, yeah, sometimes better. You know, the Rex we finished, the 1904, basically looked like show car hot rod paint job. <laughs> and it's like, the spikes from 1904, like, it didn't look it like that been, back then. It would have been crappy orange peel lacquer. <laughs> exactly. Hand, hand done stripes that were crooked. So that's pretty much like a restoration, which I think everybody knows. A preservation. It's, just, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's basically you take the bike in the condition that it's in, especially if it's an original, like for example, the other 1903 Rex we had, he didn't want to restore it, he just wanted to keep it in that same condition, but go over it, make sure everything's good, get it running, all that stuff. So that's pretty much the main difference between a restoration and preservation. And then of course there's this, which is a custom. Um, but also we're trying to restore it to, well, you know. Yeah, custom because it was a pile of parts. I don't think this is ever really a motorcycle. It wasn't. Which is important to know. And we've so talked it's not like we're ruining a correct period race bike. Correct, exactly. So it did come in a bunch of different parts and that was kind of, that actually took a long time to sort through all of that stuff. But you can see there's still bins yeah. and bins and there's bins. There's like a whole new. Full of parts. Yeah, transmission, internals, engine internals, like there's just so many, of them. and frankly, 98% uh, of them that came in were totally <laughs> useless because they were, they were just bad. You know? Yeah. Well, it's the same thing. Uh, because we haven't really talked about this bike a whole lot, uh, one of the things we've done, in addition to Alec building a motor, is that we scrapped the original frame because it was in really bad shape. It was uh, kind of custom built for racing, um, but it had probably been used, it was damaged and been repaired multiple times. So we started off with a good, known good uh, BMW frame that we had in our storage and basically recreated what was there. Yep. Um, but, you know, square and true and, and not active exactly. and, and repaired multiple times. Exactly. So it's, it's looking really good. I'm actually really, really, like I said, really excited about this bike. Just sitting here, like as soon as we put the wheels on and the tires, I was like, man, this thing looks bitching. Uh, the first time I put the bodywork on, uh, just sitting on there like that, it, yeah. I, I got really happy. We're really excited about this one. We've had it for a while, but we're now starting to get some, make some good progress on it. We had to get that Chiriani front end set. And then from there, everything's kind of going according to plan. But yeah, and now Andy's making the tank, and it's gonna be cool. And aren't we making, we're gonna make like an airbox for it and all that good stuff too, right? Uh, yeah, because the, the motor's been modified. Mm -hmm. um, a stock, uh, stock covers won't fit on the motor anymore, and we're running a special, is it Czechoslovakian? Mag ignition, right? No, we're just gonna use the power dynamo. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. we talked about mind. that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about getting really weird with it, but at the same time, this guy wants it to be, not that that's not reliable, but we know that those power dynamos work well and you know they replace the stock ones and they, they're awesome. So you can't really go wrong with them and they perform really well. So that's what we decided to get. We kind of put them on a lot of our airheads and stuff just because. And that all fits underneath the doghouse. 
Actually, it fits in the front. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It fits, in the, it fits on the nose. Gets rid of the points and everything. And But because the motor's been modified, we're going to build some new shells. and Correct. Some and stuff. we can even see the motor in a little bit if you guys want. It's nice and pretty. Uh, this, sweet. This is, this is a dummy. Yeah, this is a donor. Motor. Donor one. Donor engine. This was... This was the motor for my airhead racer at one point. Oh, really? That I never finished. Dude, you're halfway there. Yeah. Just take this one. Yeah. All right. He's almost done. This is Andy's bike now. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. I'm going to bang on some sheet metal. Yeah, have a good time. You have one hour before shop cleanup. I'm yeah. I'm starting you now. Sweet. All right. Let's go. Bye-bye. Go away, nerds. Bye, Andy. Do you guys want to see the motor? You want to see the engine for this bike? Yeah, let's look at it. This is the uh, engine that I built for that Airhead Racer. It's nothing, uh, nothing short of clean. It's got uh, a lot of new internals, put a new cam in it. Obviously new pistons and valves, port and it's been poured and polished. Um, it is now a bigger displacement. I don't know what else to say without sounding too, too nerdy, but there it is. It's gonna look really good inside that frame. All right. I don't know. Let's go visit the leather guys. Let's see what they're doing. Oh yeah. Let's go visit the leather. We don't never talk to the leather the leather team. Let's go do that. Can I hold that dog? Come on. You are my co-pilot. Let's do this, Bates. Oh, the worst thing about all of this is going up these fucking stairs. You know what, Bates? We're gonna teleport up there. You guys ready? Hey, we How made it. I'm good. How are you doing? Welcome. Man, I just teleported. I don't know if you believe me, but it's true. I don't, but right. it's okay. Well, what are you doing? I'm looking at a seat. Sweet. What's up with the seat? This is a custom seat that we did for a client. Um, he actually sent in a uh, his old seat, and it was like a had a passenger hump on and everything, and we took that thing all the way down shave the seat pan, uh, seat pan down downstairs in the uh, workshop down there. And up here, we did our design on it and we recovered it. Uh, and we, it looks this is awesome. what we came up with. So I don't know much about the process for seats. So tell me, how do you decide like pattern and all that stuff? Um, you know, we kind of, have you know inspiration comes from everywhere obviously but you know we explore a lot of different uh different patterns you can get on instagram or you know, on facebook or just other motorcycle blogs and you know there's patterns that we've never seen before this is one that you know like we'd seen it before um but the client actually sent in what he wanted oh. um so <coughs> it was pretty easy for us on that, on that yeah this looks rad um, and what we did was just kind of played with the stitching pattern and the quilting in here, but uh, we came up with, made sure we kind of followed the lines um, all the way through. So down, like it kind of followed this line and mm -hmm. it goes up into that and then it kind of feeds all the way around. So we play with that, but the stitch pattern was the client's. Gotcha. Uh, that and was how, his choice. How do you, uh, how do you do this? Like. <laughs> How, how do you make it? I mean, I, this is how much I don't know. Yeah. And, you know. Please. So what it is, um, like everything from here, anything that's going to get this kind of quilting treatment here where you want a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of dimension and a lot of, uh, well, I can't think of whether or whatever, but it's uh, what we do is we put a, a like a, a padding underneath. So depending on how, you know, noticeable you want the quilting, um, you know, you go from like a half inch, um, foam or like a quarter inch foam. Yeah. This, I believe, is a half inch foam under so here. It could get real puffy. It can, depending on, uh, Taste. you know. Yeah, so like, you can tell right here, like this stitch lines, this is the same padding underneath, but these lines are closer together. So you're not gonna get the same. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, that, yeah. that puffiness under there. So it really kind of depends on, you know, the density of the foam um, and everything. And then you take it and you kind of, you can, you can either glue it or staple it because it's glue or because it's a, a, a plastic yeah. pan. We would prefer to glue it uh, with leather as well. So yeah, um, I noticed that some of them are you know stapled, some of them are riveted, some of them are glued. Yeah. 
You know, the glue, it's a contact cement, um, and it's gonna, it's certainly gonna hold for a pretty long time. Yeah, I mean, it's what, I've noticed that that's what we kind of always use, and, it's, yeah. and it works. Especially because we typically use, uh, a, we do a metal seat pan, um, so you really can't staple to yeah. a metal seat pan. Well, so, I, I guess can. You, you can, but. Also, the most important question, what is this? It's a mallet. Is it? It's a hammer. It like kind of protects your tools. It looks like one of those weird Conair brushes from like the 90s that lost all its bristles. Yeah. Do you have yeah, any siblings? Like one of those curling. I, I don't have a sister. I have a brother. Right. Well, anyways. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it looks like. <laughs> cool. Look at all these tools. Look at this thing. And this. And this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, you guys are really working. We are working hard. Awesome. Thanks, Patrick. Yeah, thanks for coming on here. Hey, you're welcome. So that's the Revival Daily for today. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, I couldn't barely say that. Prescribe to this channel. And uh, there'll be plenty more for you to watch and or hear, not, or hear about or not watch. It's on YouTube. You ain't got nothing else to do. You're laying in bed, it's fine. Uh, have a good one, it's Friday. Peace. <laughs>